years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? What's happening? This is the ramble, of course, and the ramble goes on until, uh, let me see, it goes on until midnight, Eastern day, uh, Daylight Time. Yeah, we're on Daylight Time now. I suddenly realized we're on Daylight Time. Hmm. Okay, well, anyway. Hey, we got a guest tonight, so let's check in with her. Lake Oswego, 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 uh, Oregon, which is right outside of Portland. I could say Portland, right? And I would be accurate yes. on some nobody level. Nobody would object. No, nobody would object. Uh, and uh, uh, we once every two weeks check in with her to see how she is health wise and uh, just uh, what's on her mind. And there's always a, yours. Oh, there's always a lot on your mind. And also, what's on yours? Well, you do a thing called at Time Goes By. Net, right? It's your blog, and it's about yes. what it's like to get old. Yes. All right. And that way for fifteen years. Which really sucks, I might add. Okay. Now. Well, you think so? I don't mind. You don't mind? Okay. Well, uh, uh, all I'm saying is like today. T- t- oh, there, there goes your phone. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. Forgot to turn off the phone. I turn them all off. I leave them in another room, except for the watch, and the watch I have to turn off. Anyway, uh, it is going to thunderstorm today, and my head feels like a fucking balloon, right? Can I tell you? Now, I didn't used to have that happen. Hey, it's going to rain. Big deal. Things happened when you were a toddler that didn't happen later. Did you expect things not to change through life? Yes. No, but... (laughs) Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I always heard about, you know, old people could tell when the weather was going to change because their arthritis acted up or their knee or their rheumatism or whatever. You remember that? And I always thought that was like an old wives' tale. It's not. (laughs) It's not. I can tell. I, I say to my wife, I say, uh, uh, dear, is it supposed to rain tomorrow? She says, yes. I said, I knew it. I could feel it, you know. And this morning I woke up and my head was throbbing and everything. And it's it's the weather. So uh, and that's one of the things, folks, that sucks about getting old. Okay, did I name one thing that sucks about getting old? Okay, who are you to, who am I to complain to you? Okay. By the way, you know, can, it is what it is. Can I say that you are looking healthier right now than you have in a long time? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the good news I got this week. Which is? Um, I had chemo on Thursday. Yeah. Um, my regular infusion. Yeah. But before that, they did a, a CT scan. Mm-hmm. And if you remember, two months ago, I had a T- CT scan with very, very good um, results mm-hmm. that the cancer nodules or whatever they call them, yeah. um, had half of them had shrunk and half of them were no longer visible. And they say it that way because that doesn't mean they aren't there. They're just, they just got smaller. Right. And they can't see them right now. And um, so this time, um, sort of the same thing happened. Yeah. But not, you know, maybe not quite as much, but it happened. Yeah. And as he had suggested two months ago, the oncologist, um, because it it looks so good, they're going to switch my CT scans from every two months to every three months. Yeah. Yeah. And he said to me, you're going to be with us for quite a while yet. Wow. that Now, that's good news. Mm-hmm. You know? That's not an official thing. You know, you write down in a, in a chart. And I don't know 
what a good while means. <laughs> but uh, but I liked hearing that. Yeah, yeah. So so maybe now is the is the uh, uh, and let's face it, we we talk about chemotherapy. We all kind of a chill goes down our spine because it's supposed to be so brutal and so on and so forth. And you're kind of showing it. Yes, it is, and then it isn't. Uh, but can it completely get rid of the cancers? No, no, no it, it doesn't do that. It slows the growth. Right. So that you have more healthy time. Yeah. Um, and nobody, it's different with everybody. You know, every chemo is different with everybody. So, uh, this seems to be working for me. Yeah. And he said that pretty soon, um, perhaps we will skip a dose and give me four weeks without chemo. Oh, okay. Um, which would just give me a rest because I had chemo on Thursday. Um, I was tired at this time than usual. I was really, really tired. Yeah. And I spent most of the last two days in bed. I'd get up for a little while and just go back to bed. I just couldn't stay up. But this morning I got up and I've got a lot more energy. I'm not ready to run around the block, but um, eh, you know, I feel pretty good today. You're feeling peppy and zippy. Well, no, not that we. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, okay. You wouldn't go that far. All right. Uh, so. So this makes me feel very good. And the side effects, again, are the, the fatigue was heavier this time than it's been for a couple of times. And I have a couple of other very minor side effects that wouldn't affect much of anybody. And I feel something funny in my throat. You say you can't hear it. Yeah. But it, my voice from the inside sound feels funny. But um, anyway... That was very good news for my 78th birthday. Yeah, now she had her 78th birthday. And in a way, birthdays are now a big deal. <laughs> yes. I never, I really did not believe I would make it this far. Pancreatic cancer is lethal. And uh, very few people, probably only 10% of people, of uh, pancreatic cancer patients live more than a year. And I've, I'm have i up to nearly two years since since the diagnosis. I had it longer than that, but since they diagnosed me, it's been two years. So I'm doing quite well. You're and doing I'm quite happy about you're it. You're doing very well. You're doing yes. very well. Now, uh, no sign of the pancreatic cancer coming back, right? No, well, it has. It's in my lungs now, well, and it's in my peritoneum. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's spread from there, but I mean, in the actual pancre pancreas itself, there's no growth. Well, who knows? You know, who um, knows? they see what they can see in the in the CT scan. It's pancreatic cancer. That's where it began, and that's what it's called. No, it could spread to anywhere. I heard a piece of news this week. I was watching the news, and they said at six thirty, we'll tell you. Uh, there may be a new cure for pancreatic cancer. Oh, they like didn't that. say cure. If they did, they're wrong. Well, I, I and then I wasn't able to hear the news because I had something else I had to do. So I had no idea what that item was. And uh, do you know anything about any kind of new ignore treatment? Ignore it. Ignore it. I thought once a month something like that comes along. It's announced. Every The news people make a big hullabaloo about it, and you'll never hear about it again. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, it um, and it, and, it, and it's not a cure. Nobody's anywhere near a cure for pancreatic cancer. What they really would like to do, and what my surgeon talked to me about, and people he works with in research facilities around the world, is that they could find a blood test for it. Because one of the reasons so many people die of pancreatic yeah. cancer is they can't find it until it's so far gone, stage four. There's nothing they can do. So uh, what would be great is that they had a blood test, and he was telling me that even if it was a blood test for, let's say, five different kinds of cancer, mm -hmm. you would at least have it, you know, you, you've got a, got a goal. You've got five kinds of cancer you've identified, and then you can go through and see which one it is. Right. Um, but they've been trying to do that for years and still haven't been able to accomplish it. 
Yeah. Well, let me say to people who, who are not aware, uh, the pancreatic cancer is probably, I would say, the most deadly of the cancers. I mean... No, no, third most deadly. What's the, what are the other two? So I, I know what to worry about. I think it's breast cancer and certainly bre breast cancer and lung cancer. But uh, I would think that uh, uh, pancreatic cancer is the most deadly because breast cancer, you can, if you go to the doctor no, and get a mammogram. What they're doing is counting statistics, oh, not okay. guessing. It's okay. how many people die from the from the universe of breast cancer yeah. or lung cancer or whatever. But all I know is that uh, I, I had a friend, for instance, at 32, who died of pancreatic cancer. And as soon as I mm -hmm. heard that diagnosis, I said, he's he's dead. You know, I mean, it was, it, it, it's a, uh, when I say the most deadly of diseases, I don't mean more people die from it. I just simply mean that the prospect at the point that you find it out, because as you say, there's no way of finding it out till you're probably at stage four. You no, know, you're just amazing, Alex. What? You keep looking for hope where it doesn't exist. No, what I'm saying is, is that I say that it's the most deadly because of the nature of, of the disease itself and the fact that it doesn't pronounce itself early. You know, with breast cancer, you take mammograms. Uh, with uh, what was the second ca most uh, cancer cancer? Lung cancer. Huh? Lung cancer. Lung cancer. Well, there you could just quit smoking. <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, but the, but you can get chest X-rays and things like that, and you know. But w what you're saying is with pancreatic cancer, you, it's got to be pretty far gone before the symptoms even make themselves apparent. Well, no, there's plenty of symptoms. Did you have a lot of symptoms that were like weird and they couldn't figure out what it was? Right. Yeah. For yeah. about six months, they did that before they found it, and the reason is. Is, I don't know how much of me shows on the screen, but pancreas is somewhere like right down here. Yeah. And, it, and it's behind and hidden behind all kinds of other stuff that's in there. So you can't, like if you've ever had a doctor kind of palpate your, your yeah. abdomen, what they're feeling is the liver and the stomach and that. And behind those things yeah. are the, um, um, is the pancreas. And then you can't feel that because it's hidden behind those. So it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, you know, then there are people like Ruth Bader Ginsburg 10 or 12 years ago. They were doing something with her surgically uh, that had nothing to do with pancreatic cancer. And they found it very, very early. And she didn't even have to have the Whipple. It was so early. Um, but that rarely happens. Whipple surgery, there, folks. Some of the reason yeah. and, um, and yeah. happen to find it. When you say the Whipple, a lot of people don't know what we're talking about. That's a, a, a surgical procedure for pancreatic oh, cancer. Oh, is it ever? <laughs> and, and they literally, they gut you like a carp, right? Well, they right down the middle, and then they take out your, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> gallbladder. Yeah. Duodenum. Mm-hmm. A bit of your stomach, mm -hmm. um, and they have to then. I think there are a couple other things, and then they have to rearrange all the hoses to go to new places because these pieces are missing. Oh, and you geez. have to take a certain enzyme for the rest of your life because um, you only have half your pancreas. They take out the diseased part. Yeah, yeah. And um, and so it doesn't make enough enzymes to properly processed food so you have to take these pills for the rest of your life wow well eh, now, my, it's now, not a, i have trouble remembering now, but it's not a big thing but here's the big question i have for you at this point in our discussion what would you rather talk about cancer or donald trump i can't pay attention <laughs> to trump actually about trump is there's never anything new with him. Every day he wakes up and does something meaner than he did yesterday. And he's a very mean, awful man. But it's all the same thing. If every, it doesn't, you know, I mean, one day it's Kirsten Nielsen that he's dumping, but another day it's another person, or he's gonna separate babies from their mothers again, or whatever, whatever he comes up with each day. It's just one more thing of, here we are, I'm going to make a whole lot of mess again, and I'm going to make you all talk about me. Um, and I'm tired of it. I just don't pay attention anymore. It, I look at the headlines, and it's all the same thing it was last week. It never changes. 
So actually what you're saying is cancer is a better discussion to have than Donald Trump. Yes, I Trump. think it's a lot more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so we've we've determined by a test of our uh, of our uh, of our uh, uh, guest that uh, uh, cancer is better than Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we've decided, right? Yeah, I guess so, something like that. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You know, it's um it's funny now that Apparently, I don't know, you know, what length of time we're talking about when the doctor says a good while. I don't know what that means, but um, apparently better than I might have expected. All right. Let me put it in this in this context. Trump will be a want round as president for a while. <laughs> Is that yeah, good no, or I bad? I don't know what that means either. That, you know, so. <laughs> okay. Um, but... Uh, but I'm going to have to rethink things. I have been thinking about what to do with my day-to-day -day life for the past couple of years, as though I was an extreme short timer. Yeah. And so, kind of, you know, I'm not doing a very good job of it, but trying to get my life in order for my friend who's going to take care of everything when I die. Yeah. Um, and and things that you know you don't go on with regular life. I mean. If I see a pair of pants or a sweater I like, am I going to buy it? I've got enough clothes. Yeah. Um, and so I make decisions that way. But now I have to, it, you know, my time maybe has expanded a little bit. So I have to think of how I use that time a little differently because it's not as short as I thought it was. Yeah, but. I haven't worked that out yet. Then again, I mean, I could say that I'm around for a while. Well, you, you know, know, I mean, uh, obviously his intention was to say that I'm not going to die next week. You yeah. know? But, I mean, two uh, week, two weeks from, from now, it could be that you won't hear from me. You know, uh, that's what I'm saying. You know, there are always those possibilities. I had a friend of mine. God, I, I had a friend of mine. He was my lawyer and he died. Uh, and I would go to the funeral, but he probably sent me a bill posthumously. So, you know, uh, but he was... And he was a good lawyer to have. His name was Reamer. Uh, and that's a good name for a lawyer. You know, don't screw around with me or you're going to have to deal with my lawyer, Mr. Reamer. <laughs> and I always like to joke about the fact that his mother had a divorce firm of, uh, and it was a partnership, uh, the divorce firm of Skinner and Reamer. So, <laughs> um, I'm sorry, that went right past me. Say again. The, divo the, the divorce firm of Skinner and Reamer. So, anyway. I guess I just see those as names. I'm sorry. Skinner. Skinner. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, I've been telling that joke for the last week since he died. But I felt really bad about that, you know. Because, you know, the, the thing about getting older, and you know this at 78, is all the people you, you're seeing die now. You know. And you're still here. You're still uh, above room temperature, you know. And they're all, and they're going. And you say to yourself, wow, you know. And they didn't go like at a, a, a young age. You know, they went maybe. At, Not if they're my age. They, they, they went maybe at 77 and you go, oh my God. You know, it's like, as I always like to say a joke about my mother that when she was 92 uh, or when she was 95, a friend of hers died at 92. And she said to me, I swear to you, gee, and she was so young. It's all, it's all perception. Yeah. <coughs> so, you know, I mean, um, uh, uh, you know, you, you you see all these people that you know and they're going and it's not it's not fun. I mean, have you written about that on your blog about that factor? I must have mentioned it. Yeah, but it um <coughs> sorry. <coughs> it comes with the territory if you live long enough, you know. I mean, every old person who lives a long time. Yeah. That happens. You lose all your friends, and and that's and I think that's part of the dying process, that we no longer are connected to the world we understand. It's become a new place, and part of that is the people who are missing in our lives, mm -hmm. and the how the world runs from us social or cultural point of view and what's important socially and culturally 
is very different from we when we were in our 20s, 30s, 40s. Yeah. It's a whole new world right. that we're not really part of. Oh, we're invisible to it. You know. Well, I mean, you don't have to go that far. It's not entirely true. But the, the point is, I think that's important in that when it comes near time to die, you need to be letting go and be prepared to leave, you know? Yeah. And I think that, that a large part of that is when old friends go uh, and when they die, it makes the world a little emptier, a little not like it was, not what we're familiar with. Right. Can we um, go? Can we go kicking and screaming? Are we allowed to do that? Whatever you. I think that there's no right way to die. Die any way you want. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was thinking. I'll tell you. This is may sound silly. Okay. So just tell me I'm being silly. But you know, I've always had a great fear of death. So I, lately, I've been trying to come to terms with that because you know it. it, it it's down the road. I, you know, I, I, uh, I think it was. Uh, it was just magic mushrooms. It was John. No, but it was John Cleese who described it to me, as the yawn ever yawning, the the grave ever yawning, uh, that that you know as I go towards the grave ever yawning, as he put it, he said blah 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 blah. Well, as I saw that, I sat down the other night, and I looked over the screensaver I had of space of stars planets and things like that and I thought maybe we just become space dust but that's true <laughs> yeah. we all are yeah I mean that's not a new idea it, it's 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 well, a scientific fact that we're space dust well maybe we go back to being space dust I mean I thought the loveliest way uh, it was put is Neil deGrasse Tyson 10 years ago he said we are all space dust yeah and I'm not sure dust was the word but close enough and and that's just beautiful. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I think maybe that that is a true way of putting it. And I, I suddenly came to that conclusion, and and I went further with it. And this is where I guess you'll say I'm stupid, is that I started to look at science fiction, and the stories we tell in science fiction, and I'm just wondering if that isn't some kind of uh, racial memory we have of what we really are. You, I don't believe that. Huh? If you want to believe well, that. Well, does that make but, some... I mean, since nobody knows, you get to believe anything you want. Mm-hmm. But that we write we write about things which are in our racial memory, and we don't know it. So we make up these things about space and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Who knows? You know, who knows? <laughs> but... Uh, grass. Sorry about the cough. It's yeah. Uh, and and the phone. phone. <laughs> Sorry. I'd rather the cough than the phone, but you know. <clears throat> but uh, it's uh, we get to believe whatever we want, you By know, the, because nobody knows. Nobody I, ever came back and told us. So, yeah. Um, we can believe anything we want, and that's just fine. By the way, what's the cough the result of? Is that your condition, or is it just years of smoking, or whatever? Oh, there's something in my, they're working on it. <laughs> oh, they're working on it. I yes. see. You go down, they put you up on the rack, they <laughs> they lube you, and then they, they work on it. I may end up with one of those little things you breathe into once a day. Oh, oh really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, better than my wearing that thing over my shoulder. Yeah, we, we, we don't want to have to do a show where you've got one of those, you know, those whatever those things are yeah. that they... Um, I, I I've been told that that's oxygen, but I don't see how that's oxygen. I I don't know, but it, it works. It is oxygen. I've had it in the hospital. Yeah, it just pumps more yeah. oxygen into you. More so you see, folks, we'd rather talk about dying, death, cancer, uh, 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 car, uh, wait a minute, cutting yourself open like a carp, rather than Donald Trump. Okay, <laughs> so we we've proven that today. Now, what's going to be interesting... What I didn't tell you is I had a nice birthday party. Oh, tell us about that, yeah. Um, and my son came, and his wife, Kathy, and their son, Henry George, which sounds like a member of British royal family. Yeah. And um, some three or four other friends, and they did all the work. My friend came from New Jersey, Yeah. and she and Tom, my son, did all the work, and we had a fabulous meal. 
had a wonderful visit, and um, and Henry seemed to have a good time too. Henry George, and um, and I had I had since it was my birthday and I get to do what I want. Mm -hmm. um, I found a fabulous dinosaur book I gave him, and. Uh, Little kid, little boys are into dinosaurs. Oh, of course, I was into dinosaurs when I was a they kid. They weren't when we were kids. When I was a kid, I was. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, we like them because they're big and they're klutzy, and they they bump into things and they're like kids. You don't know that they bump <laughs> into things. We well, made that up. We we just like uh, them because they were big, you know. Yeah. Well, some were little too. Well, I, they never seem to. Put Do you know that there's? I went through this book. There are a whole lot of new dinosaurs they found. That weren't around when we were kids. Oh, really? Just a ton of bunch more, yeah. And this kid is four years old, my grandkid. Yeah. And if you call, if you point to a T Rex and call it something else, he will tell you the difference and correct you. Oh, really? He knows all of that stuff. Yes. That's incredible. That's yeah. just incredible. But so, I mean, so you had your birthday, and here's the thing. Here's cake. the thing Lots that's interesting, things. ladies and gentlemen, and 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 you should know this. That when she says my son, that's a term she has only used for less than a year now. Yes, because out true. of nowhere, a child she had when she was, what, 18 were you? At the time? 21. Oh, you were 21. Yes. Uh, and I met her right after that. Uh, she, she gave up for adoption and never heard from. And then all of a sudden, because of all these DNA stuff and everything, she gets a note saying, this may be your, what, your son or close. Well, it's a wonderful first line. He's, he wrote... In the email, it, it 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 appears that you and I are intimately related. <laughs> <laughs> so no shit. <laughs> and this was after her diagnosis of cancer, okay. And all of a sudden, she finds this son she never, well, she knew she had, but she had never been able to meet. And uh, and now you say my son came over. Yes. And I'm going. And he lives not about 45 minutes away. Yeah, and he's how old, your son? 56. 56. So that really makes you feel. That's really old. weird, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is really weird. <laughs> hey, we you know we've run out of time, and you have been in sync for every single. Hey, we finally second. did it. <laughs> we finally did it. We finally put you in sync. Hey, good talking to you, sweetheart. Let's do it again in two weeks, okay? We will. Take good care. Ladies and gentlemen. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, I, I, uh, I cut her out there uh, a, little, a little towards the end there. I'm sorry. I, what it was, I'll tell you what happened. Uh, we, were, uh, we were doing the interview, and... Um, um, uh, I said goodbye, and the last thing that happened after I said goodbye was her, I dare not say the word, echo, because that's my key word for it over there, I suddenly started talking out of the clear blue sky. So I wanted to try and catch that, and I didn't, so what the hell. Anyway, let me open up the lines here. Uh, I it, it, should I tell you I feel like crap today? I don't know. I've got something up here. I don't know. Maybe maybe it, the the loose tooth I've had for years may finally need to be pulled. Either that or or it is a sinus infection that I've got there. Yeah. Anyway, so it's been making me feel like crap. Okay. Hmm. Mm. But I'm drinking the coffee and that's good for me. Anyway, I uh, I have now opened the lines, folks. And that means that, oh, that, well, that, here comes our first call. Ah, yes, our first call tonight. And let me, uh, let me get him into our, uh, into our pictures here, Vernon Nunn. And uh, let's see here. Ah, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes Phil Meyer right behind him. Um, and I've got to, uh, let me, let me grab him and put him in there. Uh, let's, hey, well, he's not there yet. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, I'm gonna cancel that. Cancel that, and let me let me go back to here again and try and get there. He is. Okay. All right. He's there. Okay. And so we can add Phil to the bunch. Okay. 
Uh, I changed my background tonight, uh, in case anybody's noticing, uh, because I wanted to make sure I had one that uh, was a non-royalty or royalty-free background. So there you go. Oh. There's my royalty-free background. Do you like that, folks? It's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, how long like to paper. what? Looks like blue paper that's been crumpled up, or you know, real paper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, whatever. Hi, Vernon. How are you doing tonight? Okay, that's Vernon, and uh, hello, Phil. Hey, how you doing this evening? That's Phil. So, mm. yeah. So, uh, what's what's new? Well, uh, elections in Israel. Uh, they're uh, they're saying that Netanyahu has a lead, but uh, it could be anybody's uh, anybody's election at this point. Well, I don't give a shit. I just hope Netanyahu doesn't win because he's a prick. Yeah, well, um, I want him to annex the West Bank. You really do, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, you have you are an American. You are not an Israeli. So what are you doing rooting for one side or another? It's none of your fucking business. Well, uh, I I may be an Israeli one day. Why? Uh, because I I've, I've been thinking about it and Why? you know, I want to be able to vote in their elections. Why would he you wants to go sell some magic carpets? It's a, yeah. it's the Jewish homeland. It's, it's, and, it's, it's uh, not the fucking Jewish homeland. It's a place it is where now. it's a place where a bunch of Jews went to live. You know. Yeah. Well, and maybe I'll retire. And that's there. one of the reasons I don't move to Williamsburg. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could start off that way. You could like go to live in Williamsburg here, find out what it's like living with nothing but Jews. And then maybe you could move to Israel. Oh, that's not uh, Williamsburg, Virginia, huh? No, uh, William, is it William? What is it, William? Isn't the, uh, isn't the, the area in town here Williams? Is it called Williamsburg or is it Williams? So William something. Yeah, um, that's not where the Russians are, right? Uh, yeah, that's also where the Russians are, but the Russians are Jews. Yeah. 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 Uh, let me see here. Charlie Wallace is calling in. Let me uh, uh, let me see here. Let me uh, give him a place in the uh, in the in the group. Uh, let me see here. Oh well, I got you know. I find I have to wait a little bit before I try and put somebody in because they I have to get a picture on them first. And mm -hmm. do I have a picture on Charlie Wallace? No. I I I brought him in, and uh, he's not here. Uh, okay, okay, cancel. Well, cancel if right. you do get a picture, that's going to max out your three screen. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, uh, I, 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 it, where, what happened to you, Charlie? We lost you. Call back again. Okay, yeah. But anyway, so I'm saying just, you know, you know, put your toe in the water. Go to an all-Jewish neighborhood somewhere in New York. Live there for a while, and if you can stand hanging out with Jews, that many Jews at one time, uh, I lived in Miami for a while. You. Oh, there's uh, there's Charlie. He's he's in there, but we don't have his. I don't think <laughs> we, we don't have his. Uh, are you there, Charlie? I'm you trying. Know, you're I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, we, all we have on you, uh, I think, probably, uh, is just uh, a. Um, see, we have a little Skype picture there. Yeah. That, that, when when there's no video, there we go. There we go. Oh, bingo. All right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's like giving birth. <laughs> yeah, that's how it's that's how it's done, folks. You know, that's how we get a citizen panel together. We got at least three, so that's something. Uh, and and uh, Charlie, you want to move to Israel? No. <laughs> okay. Me neither. You know why? Make a good Israel. Too many fucking Jews there. Well, there's enough Arabs to keep you happy. Mm. Actually, it's, it's not much different climate than here in Arizona. So. Really? <laughs> you're right. You're right. So you're kind of, you're already, ha you see, he doesn't even know what the heat is like there. Yeah. Yeah. I lived in Miami. No, it's, you know? no. Oh, it's, that's it's, humid. That's humid. That's humid. This is dry heat. This is, uh, what does it get to in that part of the country? It's 130 degrees. You think you can well, take that, Phil? Well, I went to uh, Phoenix once uh, in uh, in the summer, and it's damn hot. I, I mean, I don't know how people take it. But, we had a uh, mild summer last summer. It only got to 117. 
Oh, that's fair. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like Dubai, I guess. Yeah. By the way, a funny thing. Uh, I got a <laughs> note from somebody who was watching my videos and stuff who listens to our show and watches our show in Dubai. And yeah. he, and it's oh. and it's not uh, it's not our free. It's, it's not free. free. No. No, it's a, somebody else altogether. So, yeah. So I figured we we probably are just killing in Dubai. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, Bree walks around with Gabnet on, and so you know maybe some people have picked up on it. Yeah, but I, I, think, I think it's pretty neat. Yeah, I think it's pretty. Only cool. when he's in Malaysia. Yeah, only when he's yeah. in Malaysia. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, I got... So this uh, this Dubai in. Yeah, uh, you know, is he going to call in or she? Uh, I, you know, I, I I don't know. I brought him a note, and uh, you know, my my would be nice if they did. You know. Oh, by by yeah. the way, you know, Jeff called at the same time he did last time, so he comes in right in the same square. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't even have to put his Not name the in there. Square. I didn't have to put his name in there. If you had called first, Phil, yours 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 would have come up just like that too. Oh, yeah, because the last time I was in the top left. Yeah, yeah. And I I can I can move you any. What? Well, you what? know the thing is, you know, you listen to What happened? The... We just lost Jeff, are you there? We lost Jeff. Jeff yeah. went bye-bye. Oh, well, Jeff went bye-bye. I who knows yeah. what happened to Jeff? Oh, well, yeah, hopefully he will call back. I'll put him back on when he calls back. Hurry back, Jeff, so you can get your square back. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you're having fun with this thing. It, it's a whole new thing. Yeah. 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 I like this new background now. It has a little, it's a little easier to look at. There's not as much of a pattern. Yeah. But, uh, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there are backgrounds that are. Uh, uh, that are not uh, free, uh, free well, use. Well, uh, you know, you can take any background you find on the on the web, and you can use it until somebody notices you've been using it, and they figure it's theirs, and then they can tell you to stop or whatever. Well, this so I went somewhere where it said royalty free backgrounds. So nice. Ta da! This is a royalty free background, folks. I just and, and plus the other one was a little. Girlfriend felt it was a little too busy. I didn't think so, but she felt it was, and this isn't busy. This it, it was pleasant, but mm -hmm. uh, you're right; it isn't. It was more busy than this. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so we're still waiting for uh, for Jeff to call back. I don't know what happened to him, but his square is there, and uh, we'll, so you, we'll keep. You're it. not feeling well. Nah, I'm not yeah. feeling well. Here we go. Here comes Jeff again. There we go. Uh, <laughs> There we go. Je Jeff, are you there? There we go. Now I can put him back on. There we go. What happened to you, Jeff? I don't know. And then they can take you don't know. I'll figure this out. So I went somewhere where it said royalty-free backgrounds. Now I got oh, backgrounds. Now, now turn, down, turn down the audio from the video. I just, and plus yeah. the Wait, but, was a girlfriend felt it was a There we go. See? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, no longer is it turn down your radio. It's turn down your internet. <laughs> You know, uh, and and before it used to be, you had a seven second delay. Here we got like a, we lost him again. Wow. He's, wow. He maybe he's having some connectivity issues. He could be having some connectivity issues. That could well be. Oh boy. Well, anyway, by the way, if anybody wants to call, and you know, it's very easy now. I can, I before you used to have to. Uh, write and ask me to make you a contact and then you could get on and get with the group now i think i can put anybody who calls into the group so if you want to call uh it's gabnet live that's our id uh and uh, you just call gabnet live and g-a-b-n-e-t-l-i-v-e -E, or you can go to the gabnet uh, site and over on the right hand side of the page there's a whole bunch of stuff about how to how to get on the citizen panel, but then there's a little button, or not a button, but it's like it just there's some writing that you can switch on to. What is it? Uh, what does it say? Let me see here. Let me. I remember. I forget what I wrote. Uh, link will initiate Skype to call Gabnet, and you click on that, and it's that easy. That's how you can call us. It's no, or no problem. you can call 347-352-0079. Yeah, but I don't like when they, I would rather they do the video. So let's not yeah. encourage the audio. But you can, <laughs> you can call by phone too. There's a phone number over there. 
and you can call that as well. And new new people are always welcome. We love to see new people, you know. Uh, and uh, l l look here, uh, 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 Jeff is still frozen, so we're waiting mm. for him to call back, or we'll have to give his space up to somebody else, you know. So what did you do this weekend? Did you do anything interesting? Did I do anything interesting? What did we do this weekend? Well, we, uh, we, oh, we, uh, we, oh, girlfriend on Sunday wanted to go to lunch. Mm -hmm. So we went to this place uh, down on, it's about 80, 89th, uh, no, 80th Street or something like that. Yeah. Uh, and we had lunch. And it was, it's a very nice place. And we go there often. Uh, and uh, then uh, we decided, what the hell, let's walk home. So we With walked. her bad knee? Yeah. So we walked all the way. We walked uh, what had to be about a mile and a half, something like that, you know? Yeah. We went from uh, 80, 80th Street all the way up to 116th and over. So that's, uh, yeah, that's about, it's about two miles, I guess. And, yeah, so you um, saved the cab fare. And I, uh, I did a live Facebook while I was doing that. Yeah. All right? And, and I put it up. And uh, since I put it up, uh, let's see here. It's had uh, 616 people that have watched it. Wow. More than watch this show. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Because it's on Facebook and you have 5,000 followers, yeah. of which probably but 600 and something are 616. real. 616. And then uh, the, uh, uh, the day before... Uh, we were down. The others at, are hookers. Yeah, the day before we were down at the uh, Harlem uh, at the, Har the what do you call it? the Malcolm Shabazz uh, Bazaar, which was Malcolm X's name, and uh, there was a jazz group playing there, and I just turned on my camera and broadcast it live over over Facebook, and we got three hundred and ninety eight. Wow. Thank you very much. Now Periscope, that's gone the way of the dodo bird, or well. It's still there. That that is uh, who? Uh, which company is that? That's uh, oh, that's uh, wait a Somebody minute. Uh, no, that's Twitter's. Oh, so then that's face. That's that's uh, their Facebook. Th their Facebook. No, no, no Twitter. Tw uh, Instagram is Facebook. Right. I think uh, I don't know. I can never get Instagram to work. Yes. Can you? Uh, I I don't remember. I signed up for it in 2012 or something, and I don't remember my password. Yeah, I can't I can't get it to work. Uh, I, I try to do something with it, and it just doesn't it it doesn't work. Okay, yeah. so you know, I mean, am I have I become to the point where I'm just like don't know how to run the kids stuff anymore? You know, I used to be, maybe you just don't want to. I used to be into all this technology and everything else. By the way, I have my ibuprofen with me in case my mouth starts to hurt again. So, um, Does it work that quickly? I, you know what it is? I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem is what we got going in New York right now is it's raining, okay? And somehow that air pressure affects my mouth. Mm. You know, mm. it affects teeth and so on. Anybody else have that same problem when the air pressure is, is changing? No, and it's going to uh, rain. That's my knee. Yeah, we see. Okay, so anything that's weak in you has it. Like I got a loose tooth here, so that starts to hurt. Right, that starts to bother me. I have a, a big filling down here. That tooth sometimes bothers me a little bit. But it's it's key to the weather is what's strange. You know, Alex, when it comes to that kind of pressure, uh, there's certain air spaces in your body, and you learn from scuba diving mm -hmm. to be able to equalize those spaces. And your jaw and teeth and things like that mm -hmm. are affected by the sinuses. Yep. So, so what uh, do I have what... to do, put on scuba gear? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's two ways you can do it. You can either move your jaw forward and swallow, and that will help. Or you can <laughs> look at, squeeze look your at nose Vernon, and trying. blow out your ears. You know, and I'm yeah. not kidding. Yeah. You know, you'll, yeah. <laughs> go blow it out your ears. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so and that's called a Valsalva. And uh, if you do one of those two things, even if you're on an airplane and your ears are starting to bother you, mm -hmm. uh, by doing a Valsalva. Uh, the, the reason you do the one with the jaw is if you're wearing a full face mask and you can't grab your nose, but it also works. 
So, you know, you just hmm. forward yep. and, and swallow. And that will uh, that will help with the equalization. And it may help with the pressure you're feeling. Now, I don't know anything about uh, this, um, uh, uh, about the new Skype, but I'm wondering if I could, if I could call Jeff Stein, oh, yeah. but I don't see him on the list anymore. He was part of like a group. But Is he green? No. Uh, if you look at his contact? Is he green? No, I don't think so. I don't know. He may be, then, having, he may be having yeah. trouble tonight, you know. Yeah. Uh, he may be having some trouble. I don't know. You know. Yeah. Um, what happens if I do that? Oh, here, I could give him a call. Well, let's see here. Is he? Uh, Charlie Wallace. Jeff Stein, he's online. All right. But it only says I can, I can ring him. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try. Somebody else has to call and take his place, Okay. It's yeah. it's the law, ladies and gentlemen. It's the law. Do you know we have a first come first serve? I don't know why it is, <laughs> but we have a ton of people watching right now. I I don't know yeah. why we're getting huh? larger numbers lately, and I, oh here comes Jeff again. All right, let's hope we he stays on. I think time. the larger numbers may be due to the uh, nice uh, output that you're putting. You know, it could the, be the picture looks great. Anyway. So, uh, anybody, hello, D Jeff. What was your problem? You had a problem with the machine? Well, I'm on right now. But, you know, I'm not on the new method that you're using. Oh, I'm kind of using the old way. How, what do you, you mean, mean, the old the way? Old, so, the, the yeah, old. which means I see uh, four of you guys mm -hmm. and then myself all a smaller. You're on Skype. You're not yeah. watching it through YouTube. Right. So right. on Skype, that's the way it looks. No, on I Skype, no, 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 no. What you see, if you look at YouTube, that's an entirely different picture than what you're going to see on Skype, okay? It's my own creation. This is the way I think Skype should look, <laughs> okay? Uh, but, the but what I'm doing is I'm taking each individual caller and I'm placing them in their own box. That's the way we this thing works, okay? So it... So don't worry about your Skype. Your Skype is the way your Skype is because that's Skype, you know. Yeah. So. Anyway. So if you have a second computer or a phone or something, you can look at it on Skype yeah. and you can see the difference, but it will be about 30 seconds behind. Well, what's uh, the right way to put the YouTube on? To just uh, call YouTube. Just call YouTube. Just call uh, GabNet Live on, on YouTube. On another device or a... or. Uh, you can open up YouTube, but just turn the volume down. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. But otherwise, uh, what you well, see, what you see on YouTube, okay, not on Skype, but what you see on YouTube is different than you're going to see on Skype. Okay. Yeah, because it has all the different. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. See, see yeah, this laptop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's the YouTube feed. Yeah. And Skype is what you're seeing. Yeah. So it's good. Anyway. Enough of the technology. We d do too much of that technology shit. We just <clears throat> lost two people. Anyway, um, uh, 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 yeah. You know my son, Andrew? I think you met yeah, him one yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he's in San Francisco mm -hmm. today. So I, I talking to him. I said, where are you? I said, I was in California. He says, oh, I'm in San Francisco. I says, oh, you're going to go see Phil? <laughs> He goes, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, I had lunch today with a friend of mine, Dave, and his son's name is Andrew. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, um, uh, it, 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 you know, so uh, uh, if anybody would like to call, uh, you can just call Gabnet Live. I would love to see some new people. It would be nice to see some new people, and I just, I just put you right in there, and you're... You come in on one of these, uh, we have a box waiting for you, okay? All right. I think there's also one other factor that may have increased your audience. Your attitude has become much more positive about this because of the, the YouTube feed. For, uh, for one reason or another, you're, uh, you ha you're much more enthusiastic, and uh, I think you're, you're happier because of what you created. And I've got a pain in my in my face. Okay, fine. Just do the valve salve and blow, blow it out no, your ear. No, it's not gonna, that's not going to work. I, I don't know what it is, but I hope it 
goes away and it doesn't cost me a fortune. Anyway, let's get on to other stuff. Uh, I woke up this morning, turned on the TV, you know, uh, and it, I, I, I always hope and pray it's on the prices right. But unfortunately, no, it was where girlfriend had left it on MSNBC. And what do I see but this big fat turd, Bill Barr. Now, you see, the fact is that Trump doesn't have a name for him, and there are so many we can call him. <laughs> big fat turd, big fat guy, roly-poly Bill, uh, anyone, a number of things. Uh, and I'm watching him, and I am just, I am so impressed by his presentation because oh, yeah. it, it was it was so unorthodox <clears throat> when it came to being a public person, being somebody in the public uh, arena. Uh, he was snotty. He was nasty. He was mean. He was vindictive. He was I like the uh, Democrats. Huh? Uh, just Phil, like Phil, you don't always have to add something like that into the conversation. Yeah, but it's no, true. No, it wasn't like the Democrats. Bill Barr's a piece of shit. And he proved himself to be that today. When he, I'm not going to answer any more of your questions. Well, fuck you. Good. You're a public servant. You work for me, you asshole. We, we pay for, for the him. president. Yeah, we, huh? No, he works for me. The president works for me. He works for you, too. That's mm -hmm. right. We pay for his insurance. Yeah, we paid yeah. for his fucking inaugural. Well, did... Um, no, wait a minute. Other people did. Did he release did anything today? I, I thought this is the... F uh, oh, it's the 15th that he's going to yeah. release. Yeah. Once your taxes... Once we get your tax money, we'll let you see the Mueller report. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, fuck Bill Barr. Jeez almighty. I mean, he was just amazing. Oh, here He's comes following Ken, the wall. here comes Ken Stopper. Let me see here. Where do where can we put yeah. him? We can put him in the fifth position. Uh, let me um, just uh, get. Uh, let's see here. Where am I? Ken Stopper. There he is. Okay, and I go okay, and then I uh, bring that up, and then I bring him in, and there we go. I'm doing this really fast now. I'm good at this. Yeah. If I wore my glasses, it would be even faster. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, what did you think, Vernon? Did you watch uh, any of uh, that piece of shit today? No, oh, I was building houses for Habitat today, so I didn't get a chance. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then you 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 lucked out. How about you, Kevin? Did you see him? Oh uh, yeah, he was a piece of work, wasn't he? Yeah, I mean, it just you know, you could have at least gone to this thing and been conciliatory. You know, you could have just been a little on your best behavior to say, okay, here I am, and I'm. what, what questions do you have? I'm happy to answer, you know? No, he did not do that. He basically told them, I ain't telling you shit until it all comes out, and I'll tell you when it comes out. Yeah. Now, admittedly, <laughs> admittedly, the reason he was before that committee wasn't for uh, the Mueller report. He was in front of that committee to get more money for the Justice Department, for the budget. Did they give it to him? I don't think they even asked him a question about it. <laughs> it was everything else but, yeah. yeah it was everything else but. And, and, but, you know, of course they'll give him the money. You know, why not? You know, we, we pay the Justice Department. We, we like paying the Justice Department. Why, I have no idea, but, you know. But Comey's I, retirement? Yeah, I, I just felt that he was, uh, well, Comey doesn't get his retirement. He was let go a day before he could get it or something like that, remember? Yeah, was that Comey or one? Was it Comey? Uh, one no, of that was Andrew McCabe. Oh, that was Andrew yeah. McCabe. Yeah, yeah. Did yes. Comey get out in time to get his uh, p pension? He might have had enough time in. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, the, these guys can. Tr I don't know how many years McCabe was uh, in there, but you know, you can retire early. You just don't get as large uh, a pension. Yeah, like you don't cops. get the full pension. Right, with cops. Uh, let's say, uh, you know, they, they're a certain age and they've got so many years, mm -hmm. they'll get a percentage of, uh, of, the, pen of the pension. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, and it'll just be slightly shy. It's, it's like uh, taking Social Security when you're yeah. 62, but you can also take it when you're 64 
um, but you'll get less than at 66 or five. Right? I really, you know, I mean, I, I, I think if you're just like a congressman for two years and then you don't run again, I think you still get the medical benefits for the rest of your yeah. life, don't you? Yeah. I yeah. Think so. Boy, I that what a racket that is. What we should do in every neighborhood, we should have like, or every city, we should have one congressional slot that we give away in a lottery. Okay, <laughs> and, yeah, and they did that you, uh, with uh, Casio Cortez. Uh, if you, uh, oh gee, Phil, do you have <laughs> that's you know, come on, you know, uh, uh, no, but then then you have that one, and then they go there and they get uh, mm. and the winner of the lottery gets uh, free medical for life, you know. Good. Yeah, well, you, you can also do that just by coming over the wall and saying you need asylum; they'll give you the free medical. And an education. Actually, Phil, and, Phil, are you trying any attention? Bill Cortez beat somebody. Yeah. Beat somebody who was in had been office for a decade. I, Twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. had been elected ten okay. terms. Two decades. Yeah. So if you had the choice of voting for her or him, uh, even if she didn't open her mouth, I would have voted for her. I would have voted yeah, her for. Hot. I'd vote. Yeah. I'd vote for her if she just opened her mouth. Yeah. So yeah. uh, I mean. <laughs> Um, uh, I find, uh, to begin with, I mean, you're going to disagree with this, I find Alexandria uh, Ocasio-Cortez to be really terrific. I find her to be, I think she, right out of the, right out of the shoot, she was up and running, you know? She didn't just sit around like most congressmen during their first term and, and sit there and uh, keep quiet. She jumped right into the fray and... I think she's done a she's done a great job so far. I like her spunkiness. Very smart. I You're I just don't like what she her Very her smart. message. Well, is. What is her message? Uh, new Green Deal. Well, well, now what's the New Green Deal? Uh, uh, no cows. No, no, no. Now no, 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 you see, no, oh. not part of that. <laughs> uh, Phil, uh, if you're going to not like something, you'd better know what it is. Of course, I know what it is. Oh, well, what is it? No cows, no airplanes, and uh, no, no, no Republicans. No, 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 no. <laughs> Except for that third one, yeah. <laughs> no Republicans. That was you're correct on that one, Phil. Yeah, you're right on target with that one. Yeah, uh, socialism. Uh, uh, socialism. Uh, that's a bad yeah. word, isn't it? It's a horrible very bad. Thing. It's a horrible uh, she, thing, uh, especially in Venezuela. And she wants uh, medical for all. Venezuela uh, isn't. She wants so, by the open way, by borders. The way, by the way. Why is medical for all bad? Because we can't afford it. Well, yes, we can. We every can. other country can. Every we other can. country can in the industrial and, world. Yeah, and, and most other countries, you, you seem to say that this isn't true, but I've heard enough stories about it. Other countries uh, have uh, waiting lists and uh, aren't getting the lists. care. We Phil, uh, Phil, have you uh, asked anybody in those other countries? Because I have. Yes, I have. Yes, and, and uh, okay. And many of them Ted, have told Ted me Randall. that if they don't have uh, an yeah. insurance so that they could go to the United States to get medical care, they would have died. Really? The other way well, around. if those Ted Randall, if Ted Randall, my oh, my do. my old friend from San Francisco, a radio guy, hadn't moved to Canada, he'd be dead right now. But he's ninety-two now. Yeah. And he said uh, he would be dead now because of the things he's got wrong with him and, and the kind of help he would get for them in the United States. And, and the death panels, because they would deem him, there are, in many there, cases, yeah, too old. Insurance the, companies have death panels. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jeff wants to say something. Yes, he's, Jeff. Yeah, I have experience <laughs> I, going, to, yeah. going to Australia. Yeah. And uh, I was there, and, you know, I have difficult uh, medical drugs and mm -hmm. problems and this and that. And right. I said, what do I do? Just go to the hospital. I'll take care of you. They sure took care of me fine. And I was in and out of there, and I said, well, how do I pay? It's, the, it's no charge. It's on us. Yeah. yeah. We don't pay for anybody. For it, it's on us. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. They wow. wanted to get you out of there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So don't yeah. die on our soil. Well, let's see here. Where where are we? I've got to find him. He's Darth. Pa yes, Darth Pat is 
is his uh, non de plume, and there he is, Hello, ladies Patrick. and gentlemen. To be There's something Patrick. 1138. There's Patrick, and uh, oh, Bree is calling us, so I've got to go over and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, go to our yeah, eight switch panel. Templates, huh? uh, yeah, I got to uh, switch templates, and uh, let me see here. Oh, wait a minute, Can't, it's, wait a minute. Why, why is he there? Uh, well, he shouldn't be there. Let's see here. Where is Bree? Ah, oh, there's Bree. Okay, all right. He's in Dubai. Uh, Bree, is he there? Mm -hmm. Bree, uh, are you gonna yeah, are you gonna turn yourself on, on, or are we gonna have to look at a? Uh, we're, are we gonna have to Good look morning. at? A, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Now. Okay, turn on the camera. Would you even if you don't point it at yourself? He really uh, wants to fill those spots. Yeah, I, I because I don't I I hate seeing that Skype logo. I hate them so much. There we go. Okay, that's Bree down there. That's his wherever. His living room or something. Happy crippleversary there, Pat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You had your crippleversary on uh, on what Sunday? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, six, six games. You know Sweet what? You games. know what happened? It happened on my wife's birth, my ex-wife Ronnie's birthday. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So maybe her birthday existing forced you to become crippled. You know, I don't know. Just, just saying. You know, I, I have no idea, but uh, you, need, you yeah. need one more to fill the. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I can count. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but we're not a full house. Full house would we'd have to have two more. So, if two of you oh. out of there want out there want to call, we'll be happy to we'll be happy to have you on. I okay. thought this screen was the new full house. No, 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 no. It's still got to be nine plus me. All right. You know, and this would be eight plus me, and that would make it nine, but that wouldn't make it a full house. We would have yeah. to go over to the other panel, uh, and uh, that would be this one, okay, which people are seeing right now. And then uh, what I would have to do, oh, excuse me, it would have to be this one, yeah. Uh, and then I would have to... Uh, uh, add the full house, which would be that. See, we do that, folks. And, but we're not a full house yet, so we're not going to do that. And uh, uh, we'll go back to. Let me get rid of. So, did you make a royal flush? And is the royal flush a toilet? The, no, the royal flush is a royal flush. It's like, uh, uh, the royal flush. Whatever the cards, cards are, yeah. Whatever the cards yeah. are, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So anyway, we need uh, two more people in order for you to get that. Uh, Full house, uh, folks. But you haven't made it yet, right? The Royal Flush? Uh, no, we haven't made the Royal Flush yet. And there's one beyond that. I know, but uh, the Royal Flush should be a toilet. And there should be a, a sound well, well, no, 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 uh, of You're telling of, me how to run my flushing. program. We're staying with the card and casino motif. Okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, so, uh, pa Patrick, did you happen to see Bill Barr today? No, I... Didn't really give a shit. No, well, if he gave a shit, you'd be able to see a piece of shit, and and that's exactly what he is. You know? Well, he looks like John Goodman with glasses. So <laughs> the only thing is that John Goodman is a better looking guy. That's true. That's true. Yeah. But when it, when he stood up at one point, I I mean I've seen snippets on news. Yeah. When he stood up, his girth not anymore. Because he'd lost weight, but the John Goodman we've known from the past, yeah. is good. and just his uh, stature, it just looked like uh, he was John Goodman. I thought, well, shit, okay. Well, uh, Josh Wheeler is calling now, so let me uh, let me see here. Let me go over here and uh, John, let me. John Goodman is getting typecast as Fred Flintstone, isn't he? Hmm. Isn't he getting typecast as Fred let me see Flintstone? Here. Uh, I've got a, a hold on a second. Uh, uh, no, he's not being typecast as Fred Flintstone. In fact, he just he, 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 he just got a um, um, he just got a, a new job. In, they're doing mm -hmm. they're going to be doing uh, Monsters Inc. Uh, on uh, let me see here. I got to see where is a stopper. There's Josh. Okay, see it starts getting a little complicated for pops here. When I go there, we go. There's, there, there we go. We got, we got, a, we filled up uh, the uh, the eight spot there. We need one more for a full house, and uh, then we're, we're, you know, 
But anyway, uh, no, uh, this, this guy uh, is just a. Uh, did you did you hear him at all, Bree? All the way in Dubai. About you mean the bar thing? Yeah, yeah the bar. Oh, uh, yeah. It's. I mean, I I see it online. It, mm -hmm. I don't think that it's been in any of the newspapers or anything. It, they don't care over there. Not really. Are you guys following the Israeli election? Uh, I saw it on again online. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, I have been reading the local newspaper. I've been a little busy, so. Yeah. By the way, you know, I found another guy in Dubai who listens to our show. Really? Yeah. So I, I think we're the number one uh, live show this time of night in <laughs> Dubai. <laughs> at least I'm trying to look at it that way. Hello, Josh Wheeler. How are you? Did you hear Bill Barr today? Uh, only briefly. Yeah. So not, not quite that much. I heard the some of the talk after, but... Uh, not much of his testimony. What did you think of his demeanor? You know, I, I really, honestly, I didn't see much of it. Uh, oh, okay. I just heard like maybe, yeah. literally maybe less than 30 seconds. And then I heard some of the talk afterwards uh, on some of the news channels. So I, I did not actually see very much of it. Yeah. Was he combative or something? I, I, oh, he I, was very combative. Very combative. Yeah. Uh, I heard that he said that he's not the one redacting or tried to say the uh, the report that Bob Mueller is doing that now. Whether or not that's entirely I, I, true, he, or that's I, a little bit of a I stretch. Don't, I don't know if he said that actually. No, I don't think he said that. He, he was he was saying more that <clears throat> he was just defending his four page letter, and he he kind of defended. He didn't you know he, he didn't want to defend what <clears throat> people were putting in his mouth about the the full uh uh what what trump was running around saying about you know being uh no no collusion he was trying to not defend it but not say that it was actually no collusion he was he was dancing around that a lot yeah yeah um but you know you could tell that he wasn't actually uh fully defending it but he wasn't you know he, he it was it was a lot of bullshit as well from what you could get from what he said do you think once it's released the american public is going to be satisfied with it i mean except for phil no from what i got from it is that there's going to be a lot of wash it's going to be washed out and they're going to have to go to court for it yeah yeah and, and, and you know the democrats already know that so they're already filling out the paperwork to get it to court Unless unless it's said that Trump was guilty, the Democrats will never be satisfied. I, I don't I don't know about that. I, you know I don't think it, it's not going to say that he's. We guilty, want to know think. to what extent he may or may not have obstructed justice. Now, if he didn't obstruct justice, then he shouldn't care if every inch of that report came out. Okay, he said he didn't mm. care. He said he didn't care. I want to see but, his but, taxes. I want to see where he's conflicted. Hey, yeah, uh, it's mm -hmm. it's not required that he produce them. And uh, I personally don't give a shit. Phil, 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 that is bullshit. Accent. That is bullshit. Because when I go and I rent an apartment in New York City, I have to give tax. them my tax return. Yep. Well, that's because you're a stiff. That's Donald get, Trump that's is a billionaire. To, that's to uh, yeah. It, it, well, that maybe he he, he, he's, he's buying the apartments. He's not. <clears> renting. You know something? If we saw his taxes, we might find out he's not a billionaire. Uh, according to uh, the people in the know, he's basically worth about three point one billion. Well, but that's what because that's what he says and that's what he puts out there. Uh, you know, I don't think so. Seth Trump don't... Tower has sixty eight stories too. I don't think we care whether he's a billionaire or not. I just think we care whether he's honest on his tax returns or not. Because yep. that's the big point, is whether he's bullshitting on his returns. Well, he says he's under audit. Every, every president, yeah, every, every, pres years. every president we've had, in, in my memory, has, has published, has literally put out, hold on a second, their tax, re has their, their tax returns. 
Uh, because uh, they got nothing to hide. Because they have nothing to hide, but they, they're tax returns. Uh, and um, no, I guess maybe they didn't have to, but they did anyway. Okay. Correct. And and Correct. then he says, but I'm under audit. Every president who released their tax returns were <laughs> under audit when they released them. And when you release them, that is an audit. So bring them on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so anyway, yes, Bree, did you have your hand up? Yeah, I don't think that the tax returns are going to tell you much of anything because they're just a uh, an illusion along with, you know, the the impressions that Donald Trump gives. The impressions are there. Mm -hmm. You know, he the impression already is that he's been exonerated. Now, there's a hardcore group of people who want to find some evidence to the contrary but the impression is already there and you're not gonna it'd be very difficult to overcome that impression and yeah. uh that's what he's very good at so even if you saw the tax returns alex what what would it do are you gonna say oh okay these tax returns now show that he must go away from being president no uh are they going to show that he's not a billionaire not necessarily because he could say because it measures your income for a year, not your wealth overall. Mm -hmm, so, right. uh, so the tax returns aren't going to tell you anything. This is just a, you know, it's like the laser pointer with the with the cat. People are just chasing this, but ultimately, it's not really going to tell you something that that what is going to make him go from the presidency. No, he's going to be there, and the only way to get him out is to is potentially to vote him out. And even then, uh, it's I don't know that it's going to be a smooth transition. Unless he gets a deal with the incoming person, like a Gerald Ford, mm -hmm. that basically says, "Hey, look, uh, if anything comes up, uh, I need you to pardon me, or you know, in, in the interest of the country," kind of a Gerald Ford thing. Um, but I, I don't think seeing his tax returns is going to affect anything. He'll spin it one way or the other, just like everything else. And whatever, whoever gets out in front and, and makes the case, makes the impression. That seems to be what sticks with him. But my question is, and I, I keep asking this over and over again, he obviously doesn't want us to see his tax returns, and the question is, why? Correct. Because it's none of your business. Yeah. Keeps uh, the story going. Char Charlie, are you there? He's had his fingers up, and then he he suddenly went offline. Said Charlie, well, yeah. Yeah, he'll he'll come back online. I'll leave him. I'll leave him in there anyway, because as soon as he comes back online, that picture will rejuvenate itself. Did you see the Rasmussen poll today uh, showing that Trump has a 53% uh, approval? Uh, uh, do you know? Uh, Rasmussen is the worst uh, poll in the United Rasmussen States. Rasmussen is, to begin yeah. with, it's not Rasmussen, like Rasputin. Close to Rasputin. It's Matt Rasmussen. And yeah. the Rasmussen poll is run by a guy <laughs> who is in Trump's pocket, okay? And in the Republican's pocket. And every time he has ever put out a poll, oh, the Republicans are doing so damn well, and they're not. You know. Do you remember uh, during the 16 election that the Rasmussen poll was the only one that got it right? Well, uh, yeah. Be, be, all the other polls had... Uh, yeah, but, but why was uh, the reason for that, Phil? Lead, that was because he was, because he was shilling for the Republicans. No, maybe at, because wait he a minute, was let right. me finish. He was shilling for the Republicans, and this time... Just like the clock is right twice a day, he was correct. All right? It broke no, the No, not all right. Uh, no, of course, you want to believe what you want to believe. Yes, Patrick. What and, the hell and you of, don't? It's a hell of a one to get right because the left hasn't come down from their perch of suicide since. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, a clock is... Yeah. is Stop clock is right twice a day, but again, that's a helpful one to be right on. Yeah. You know, I mean, the Democrats still haven't recovered. Well, so. I mean, you know, you can you can live on that one for a while by saying, oh, see, I was right on that election. Well, uh, I think Nate Silver was right on that election, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but Al, Al, <coughs> the Democrats haven't, nobody's recovered yet. Mm -hmm. We're still talking in this group. Yeah. On whether or not, you know, we should have, um, you know, uh, uh, um, election with, um, yeah. I mean, it, 
it's been affecting everything for two fucking years. It's time to get over it. Well, I, 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 I would agree with you that the Democrats have to change their, uh, their, their street game, okay? I think they have to quit um, concentrating on trying to catch Trump and everything and just run their own game, you know, and, and, and say, here's what we're going to do. And I think if they go in front of the American public and say, you know, we're going to make your lives better and here's how we're going to do it and make a really good case for it, it's going to be, it's going to, going to, I'm going to say Trump anything that Trump does because he doesn't come up with ideas. He just comes up with attacks, you know. You, you've got a very short memory on uh, the Congress. You know, they've had 50 years to come up with something and they haven't. It doesn't matter whether the Republicans are running it or the Democrats are running it. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? The, 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 the con this Congress came up with Medicare. You know, the Congress came up with Medicare. They came up with a lot of things over the years. What, what year was that? That was during uh, that was during Johnson. But there have been All a right. lot of things are since Are any then. of those guys still alive? Well, my watch is talking to me. Oh, why, why, why did my watch suddenly go to black, to color? I had it on black and white. Hmm. Hello, Mickey. Yeah, I know. I had it on black and white. Oh, there's my black and white Mickey. You see, there's 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 the black and white Mickey. I like him in black and white. Reminds me of Steamboat Willie. Yes, uh, Patrick. Well, like I said, I think it was last week. You know, bringing up the Congress. Mm -hmm. um, you're right. With the Democrats need to switch up your game. Just mm -hmm. like the Republicans, you know, all they want to do is get rid of Obamacare, but they never came up. Mm -hmm. with one idea on what to replace it with. And right. they've had uh, almost two years up until this last election to do that. Mm -hmm. And even before that, when Obama was proposing everything. So the Republicans have, they, they have no ideas when it comes to health care and how to reform or, or replace. <laughs> and just the same the Democrats, they're going to try to tie everything to Trump Leave Trump alone. The more you bring Trump up, the more you bring his base up. Ignore him and concentrate on what you guys want, and then you might have a fighting chance of beating him. Well, I think one of the first things that a Democrat should say is, look, we uh, politicians always make, uh, 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 um, what do you call it, promises when they're running for office. We're not going to make promises. We're going to tell you what we think a perfect America should be and hope that we can achieve that if, if, we, become, if we get the presidency. And then propose. The Wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, you let me finish. Jesus Christ. Sounded oh. like you did. No, it didn't. I, did, I, what, I paused for a breath. I have to do that every now and then. I'm a, I'm a mammal. I thought you were a professional. You don't breathe. Um, uh, uh, what was I going to say now? Uh, that you know that that we you just have to say here's what we think would be perfect for America. You know, you here are the things you should have uh, among them: uh, the right to good health, as an example, and a right to a job, and the right to a lot of things. You know, and that that a good president will bring you this sort of stuff rather than just close down borders and cost you money. You know, and of course, you you know they are going to be uh, they are going to be fighting against uh, 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 what's his name against Trump, so they're going to have to battle him. But uh, play your own game, run your own. The game. game you're asking them to play, yeah. they're playing against the guy that's got unemployment down to the lowest point that it's been in 49 years. It's got the highest employment for blacks and uh, Hispanic. <laughs> And is it the all lowest? Of a uh, now, Vernon, Vernon, uh, uh, fact check. Is that the truth? Is that the? Is it the? Uh, uh, how about Josh Wheeler? It may, is it? Is it, it the lowest? It may be there. It may be there now, but Trump did not cause it to happen. It's under his wait watch. Wait a minute. Wait, no, wait a minute. He did not cause it. No, it to fuck, when he got fuck, elected, fuck, Phil, fuck yeah. under his watch. We're talking about whether he was responsible for it. Let, let Vernon, would you let Vernon finish, please? Sure. Yes, Vernon, go right ahead. The economy started improving under Obama. Yeah. And the economy has kept improving even though Trump was elected. But Trump is going to take credit for it because that's typically what happens. You know, whenever something, whenever a new president comes along, he's going to take credit 
for things that happen that are good. Mm -hmm. And they're going to blame the bad things that might happen on the predecessor. That's the way it's always been. Yeah. So you mean uh, when Clinton's economy was doing really well, uh, it was uh, Bush's and Reagan's fault? No, because it had been down when he came into office. It hadn't been going upwards as it was right. with it's Obama. Because uh, these kinds of things are the, cyclical. No, the president, the, the yes, uh, Jeff has his hand up. Yes, Jeff. The, I can't get this off. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. You're fine. We can hear you. We can hear oh, you. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh, strange. Okay. Uh, the trend is your friend, and 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 Phil, you you got to understand the trends were already going for Obama. Yeah. And yeah, like uh, one percent growth. The guy, who, the guy who changes the trend. That that's the important guy. It was, it was the removal of regulations. No, it wasn't. Uh, and no, and the strength no, in the wasn't. in the no, oil. No, it wasn't. Uh, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That no, has. Phil boosted Phil, this Phil. Obama's growth was at two percent, Phil. It was not one percent. It was at two percent. And what was Trump's in the first year? Not Almost much more. four. Four. No, it was it was four during one reporting period only. Uh, and and right now I think it's three. And and they and uh, Obama said that it would be uh, impossible that it was. Uh, uh, that the growth could be that high, and that's what uh, that's what Trump promised, and that's really, what he delivered. Really, look that up, Phil. I want to hear Obama saying that. Well, then I you want to look hear it Obama up. Saying that, <laughs> look it up. Look it up and I, tell I, me where to find it. I don't know that's where to find it. I've it, heard it on the news bullshit. all of this time. It's bullshit, and you know it. It's not bullshit. <laughs> it I'm not bull making it up. You're saying then prove it. Prove it. I don't have to prove it. Yes, you do. You look you, it up. You, you, no, you have to prove you it. Lazy? You, you have to you prove it. You said it. You made, you made the, the claim. claim. Yeah, prove so you it. just prove it. Go ahead. No, you prove it. You made the claim. Prove it. Um, now, what would uh, Tony say about this? You're being a poo-poo head. So, <laughs> well, so what? well Trump Tony's is not here, so I'll call you a poo-poo head. Okay. Well, but, but even if it's true that he said it, even if it's true... Someone saying that it's Barack Obama or someone else saying that it's nearly impossible to sustain 3% GDP growth year after year. It, it, I mean, it's not an unrealistic statement. What he means to say is it's the equivalent of saying, well, we expect this Major League Baseball team to win 100 games every year, every single year, every year. I mean, come on. That's, it's not, that's not realistic, and everybody knows it because – even if you could do it five or six or seven years in a row, you, you, you can't do it eight or nine or 10 or 12. I mean, the New England Patriots don't win the Super Bowl every year. It, it just can't be done. I think that's all he was trying to say, even if he said it. I don't remember the quote, but I'm just saying, even if you're correct word for word, what what's wrong with having said that? There's there's nothing wrong with having said that. I don't think anyone would disagree Other than Obama with that. said it. Other than uh, Obama said it. That's the only reason. Yeah. That's the only reason Phil brought it up is because uh, Obama may have said that. Right. I mean, I'm, you know, but I think it, you guys see what I'm saying is it's just, yeah. I mean, it, even if it's true, so what? I mean, I always, you know, okay. get back to that. I mean, it, 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 it doesn't matter. I mean, if the growth has been really well since Trump took office and that's what the numbers say, well, OK, then <laughs> so be it. I mean, we'll give some credit where credit's due. But I said some credit. We can't give all credit. Because they are correct. It has been trending up for a good number of years. And, I mean, I think we all know you, you can't really fix an economy in a month, and you can't really wreck an economy in a month, uh, barring some catastrophic event that no one can foresee, uh, any president of any party. So if it's been trending up for quite a while, that's fine. I mean, if we were talking business, you know, he's supposed to be such a businessman. Let's talk business. I mean— if, if your sales and your business were trending up for, but only slightly for, you know, four or five months, and then all of a sudden you had two or three really great months, and then the guy who was running your business died, and the new guy took over, and the next month after that was the best one ever, is it the guy who's been on the job for three weeks, or was it the guy who just died who had been on the job for a year, and it was slowly getting better? I mean, I'm sure that second guy would like to think it was all him, but, I mean, anyone who ran a business would know that it wasn't. So just look at it that way. Well, I mean, also, Obama prevented this country from going 
into the worst recession we've seen since the 20s, you know. Uh, he had to do it, was it by— George by... W. Bush that did that. Huh? Uh, George W. Bush came up with the stimulus, and he released half of this—was uh, it $7 billion yeah, or but, $7 but, trillion? But, 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 Trump, but, but Obama came in and finished it off and did it. He sealed yeah, with the deal. cash for clunkers. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it sold cars. Yeah, but it didn't it put worked. anybody to work. It, what do you mean yeah. it didn't put anybody to work? It put he, people to work in Detroit. Detroit. No, because, no, uh, no, you didn't. Because why? Because they sold the clunkers, but they didn't need a new clunker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it Phil, was just you're talking out. You're, t- you're talking out of your ass. Yes, uh, Patrick. Oh, I got the. I, the way that I look at this is, you know, as long as Trump is not making the shit trend in the other direction, mm-hmm. why don't we all just be pleased <laughs> that it's still continuing in a positive direction versus reversing itself? You know, I mean, and that would be for any president. You know, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican, I don't really give a shit who started it, as long as the next one can the positive growth, whether it's in unemployment, you know, numbers or whether it's the economy or whatever it is, as long as it's continuing in a positive direction, who fucking cares? Who, well, who, I mean, you're making a very good point there, Patrick. I mm-hmm. mean, it really doesn't matter. But the, the reason it matters <coughs> is Trump is like a kid said, saying to his mommy, I just made a poo poo. You know, I mean, he's going around bragging about this like he did the most wonderful thing in the world when people previous to him got the wheels in motion and they should be given credit for it as well. New York Post. Uh, This economy is definitely not Obama's recovery. September 12th of 18, Barack Obama is trying to take credit for the booming by saying he could only uh, it can only happen. Uh, uh, Would you would, is that an editorial or is that uh, uh, or an opinion piece or is that? It's an opinion. Uh, oh, OK. Just, well, there it's, you go. it's an opinion. <laughs> it's an opinion. And the New York Post is very conservative. But it is an opinion. Nonetheless, it is not on their front page as news or in the middle pages as news. Yes, Patrick. Uh, uh, hey, Phil. Yeah. You got to do like I do. When you argue with people, use their own media. Like the New York Times is very liberal leaning. Don't mm. use our shit. Use yeah, but their... the New York Times doesn't yeah, but... tell the truth. Phil, let me talk. <laughs> Shh. The only way to quiet people on the left is to use their own media. That's, mm-hmm. that's how I win arguments all the time. I'll give them the New York Times or the San Francisco Chronicle or something where it's left-leaning, and then they can't come back with anything because it's their own people writing the shit that positive for our side. Don't yeah, go the only... stuff. Don't yeah, go the... strike parts. Don't go to any of that horse shit. Find <laughs> it in the left media, and then they'll all shut up because they can't fight it back. Patrick, yeah. that's the only place you'll find the truth. Because, you know, you, you, you got minute, you're the gonna, New York you're, Times. The truth, according this is to fake who? news. They I, have an agenda. Phil, Phil, agenda. Phil, to begin, with, to begin with, stop a second. Trump. Stop a second, Phil. To begin yeah. with, you were quoting a newspaper and saying it. Well, you were quoting the newspaper's uh, uh, a news Opinion. section. But then it turned out that you were quoting an op-ed that was published in the Post. Isn't that your form of being fake news in and of yourself? Well, you know, when you're looking at it on the phone, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you were the very thing you accused the Times of being. You were being fake news at that precise moment. Uh, Not necessarily. Yes, you you were. Yes, no, no. It's an opinion. You didn't say it was an opinion. You said, "Listen to this from the New York Post," and then you read it as though it were part of their uh, their news. You know, I, I clicked on it after I yeah, started yeah, reading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you should, you know, you were you were exactly what you accused fake news of being. Uh, no, that's not true. No, that is true. I didn't make it up. I, it's nope. printed. Patrick. Well, again, um, you, their, their media, I can find stuff. It takes a while. Yeah. You can find it. But then once you find it, they can't dispute it. Even opinion pieces, find opinion pieces written by <laughs> lefties, and then the lefties have to shut up 
because it's their own fucking word coming back. They'll never shut up. They'll never shut up because they're never Trumpers. I get it. it, Trump Trump could be the third coming of Christ, and they wouldn't shut up. Uh, Yes, uh, uh, Vernon, you've got your hand up. All I have to say, Phil, is the truth is not faith-based. The truth is not faith-based. It's not based on what you believe. Well, do you is your reason for hating Trump because of the way he says what he says? No, because he's a piece of no, shit. It's because of the things that he does. Separating he families done? at the border is supposed to be reducing immigration, but guess what? It's not reducing it. It's increased under him. It's increased because there are people saying that if you don't go now uh, and claim asylum, you know you're, you're making words. excuses, Phil. The, the he asked you a very legitimate question. He said he was going to stop the uh, influx of people, and there are more coming in. No, mm-hmm. there's fewer than under Obama. Uh, oh in, really? Uh, oh, oh, in, oh really? No, no, no you're absolutely wrong. You're absolutely no, you're wrong. This oh. month there was uh, it was a hundred thousand. Yeah. It's the biggest, isn't largest there, isn't there that they caught. I think it's, well, yes, what, what are you saying, uh, Kevin? I said, isn't there more coming in because he made this place so great and everybody wants to come in now? <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it, it's Disneyland. Well, it, I think it's because of what's going on in uh, in Guatemala and uh, the, now, what I, they call the I think, countries. just between you and me, I think it's because the new Avengers movie is coming out. Yeah. That, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, they're, somebody paid fifteen thousand dollars to see that damn movie. Did they really? You see that? No. Somebody paid fifteen thousand dollars to see that movie on the first night. Really? On eBay. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I digress. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> well, on, on what Kevin said, though, um, it, it it's something that I've I've wondered by many of the people on the left who have said. When has America ever been great? That sort of thing. Then why do these people flocking into the country? Because it's so fucking terrible. I mean, that right there, what what Kevin said is something I've been wondering as I've listened to people yapping about how awful it is here, whether it's under Trump or whether when it was under Obama. You know, it's so fucking terrible. Okay, uh, here. Uh, Patrick, let me try to explain this as simply as I possibly can. And that is the reason they want in here is because we're the ne- near, nearest decent place to be since all those other countries are so fucked up. But the That's fact right. is, yes, we've got our problems here and we can complain about them in comparison to the way they've been in the past, okay? But the fact is that none of us want to move to Mexico or Guatemala or Venezuela or or any of those South American countries because they're pretty fucked up. And so they're coming to where the jobs are. They're coming to where they think they can have a better life for their kids. If they could skip over the United States and go to Canada, they'd probably do it. Well, let's build a road for them now. Yo, good. Good. I'm going to follow the pipeline. Like, forget about a like wall. A we'll just make them a road right on through. Make Mexico pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, now, culture. I think that the reason that you guys are all unhinged is uh, they had a 3.0 earthquake today in Long Island or off Long Island. Mm. Really? Did you well, know I'm that? Not unhinged. The price of potatoes in China. Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, yeah. I'm not unhinged and I didn't feel it. Well, uh, Mr. Alex is saying that uh, he doesn't feel good and he's feeling the pressure. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes in, in California, we have something called earthquake we- weather. And what Nothing. happens? That, huh? that, there, there is no such thing. Well, you, you ever notice that uh, that the weather changes? Things are very calm. Yeah, weather weather, just cha- before w- weather changes yeah. all the I time. Thought, I used to think that, but it's yeah. no and, the, and the pressure. There's no, I think it's there's no the such pressure. thing as earthquake weather, Phil. No, there's no such thing. I, I used to think the same thing, but I was in so many earthquakes when the weather was so different yeah. so many times. It never made, it, never made sense. Bree, we can now see your, the top of your head. So, so it must be you're awake now. And, and, Did and you powder? Charlie has got his hand. You up. want any of you want any of this action? <laughs> no. Okay, so, so did anybody uh, hear hear about the uh, the hearings today on the internet and how they streamed the internet 
Oh. And uh, the, the hearings on the internet and how they, they streamed it on YouTube and they got so bad with the chats on the side that everybody was... Don't change the subject. I've been trying to get in for the last five minutes. Oh, okay. Go ahead, sir. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't I said your hand I, was oh, up. Oh, I didn't see your hand up. My hand's up. been up you, and waiting. You have to okay, realize go, I'm seeing go. a very small go, picture go. of everybody. And, and but Go ahead, Charlie. Go ahead. Well, the reason people are coming here is not because we're so great, but because these other places are so much worse. Yeah, that's and exactly what I said. The plan is, is to make the U.S. so bad for them that they won't even come here either. And that's yeah, why that's, he's doing such correct. horrendous things like ripping kids away from their parents and not even keeping track of where they are so we can ever get them back together. And that's <laughs> one of the reasons I hate Trump. Oh, wait a minute. You want to hear Obama's answer to that one? Ob uh, excuse me, Trump's answer to that one? Obama started that policy first. That's right, yeah. Obama did not. He did. No, he didn't. He put no, the he kids didn't. in cages. No, he didn't put kids Those in cages. cages. were no, built under they Obama. They weren't built for kids. They were built for people. <laughs> and, and, and uh, 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 you know, here's the thing. You take kids away from their parents. What's the first thing you do? You make sure you know who the parents are in relationship to that kid. We don't have any of that information. That's totally irresponsible, Phil. Then we deported the parents, didn't even keep track of them. So even if we know whose kids they are, mm -hmm. they can't find the parents now anymore because they're gone. Well, now they'll have an option. Uh, they'll be either they'll be able to stay with their parents, or uh, you know, first you gotta find first you, first first to those first parents. you gotta find the parents. Or, or Phil's gonna adopt them all, aren't you, Phil? Oh yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm reading the article that supports my uh, position. Oh, uh, the Hill, uh, and uh, this is in the finance. Uh, is the Hill a communist paper or, or you know, re, you know, a bright part kind of thing? Phil, Phil, Phil. First of all, communism. The only place left that's communist is maybe an apartment in Berkeley, California. Okay, <laughs> for the most part. Communism, oh, uh, communism is not an issue any longer. All right. Uh, is The Hill a, uh, a periodical that you can uh, accept information from? It's, it's because a if it is, then I'll read it, further. Wait a minute. Can, a liner for a kitty box. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pa Patrick? Phil, before, uh, before you would ask a question like that, research it first because... Uh, you don't ask this panel because they'll just dismiss it anyway. Right. I don't even know what, what the hill is. I only go for left-wing stuff that I know, and then I can push it right back at people. Mm -hmm. And then I barely get any push back because if you throw their own shit in their face, they can't yeah. do anything about it. Well, uh, let me give up the quote, and then I'll find out what the hill stands for. Uh, Trump quoted Obama saying President Trump would need a magic wand to get 4% GDP at a PBS News Hour town hall event in 2016. So, uh, so I, maybe if I go to this PBS News Hour town hall, uh, PBS town hall. Well, he has and, and he's quoting. He's quoting Phil, Obama Phil, saying when you go Trump looking this stuff up, phone. when oh. you, go, you go looking this stuff up, don't tell okay. us uh, on the yeah, air as you're, the as you're as you're as as you're looking it up. OK, well, how else can you do it? You got to be prepared for this. Well, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Well, don't make you statements you can't support, there. Phil. All right. So I'll but, sing. You know something but, I could take. But, I could take any harebrained well, idea. I could take any. I could take any any harebrained idea. I could put it into Google, and I bet something would come back, verifying what I believe. The publications. I'll see if I can find it. Okay, The Hill. No, uh, I'll, I'll find you a list, and I'll send it to you. All right. And it and divides so, them all up into conservative and liberal, and you can look them up as you go. Yeah. Give you a little reference. I, Thank I, you. Uh, That's what I, I appreciate that. Yeah, that'll give you something to work off of. But it won't be tonight. All right. Yeah. You know. And Phil, I'm sincere when I say that because it's a lot easier for. I mean, you you and I wouldn't necessarily accept something from the New York Times at gospel. So why would why would 
Right. So, so why would you expect anybody on the left to take anything from our side as gospel? You have to use your own resources. Yeah. But everybody on the left is reacting emotionally. They, uh, they're they not reacting to what's being done. What's happening is... Phil, uh, Phil, uh, Phil there's it, a reason why we're reacting emotionally, huh? because this dotard... Uh, has been riling the the populace up with his stupidity and his stupid statements. And, I think and, you've been and, conned. And, and, and you know what? I've been conned I by. Think, I think oh, you've been conned. It's oh, our fault that he's by, lied. In other words, I've been mis. Media. I've been mis. I've been conned. Would you? Uh, can I, I, I think could, the liberal could I, media. Could, oh, the, is is it's is the our, liberal media's fault that Trump has lied nine thousand times? No, I, and they're the ones that are claiming that. I don't see him. I didn't see any Phil, lies. Phil, he, every, Phil, he you didn't see a single lie. You didn't say see a single lie, Phil. Right. Everything, not everything he promised, lie. he's delivering. Uh, for he some said, reason, what do you mean? Everything he promised? Wait a minute. Everything he promised, he's delivering. Yeah. Give me an example. Uh, he's uh, he's working on the wall. He's, okay. Okay. He's working he's on the wall. Up on immigration. Oh, okay. He's working he, on the wall. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Wait. One at a time. He's working on the wall. The wall he yeah. went to the other day was built by Obama and was under repair from the Obama administration. <laughs> Well, he just got nine hundred and eighty-five million dollars from the Pentagon for wall. Oh, he stole money from our war or no, from our, he didn't from our steal military it. budget. The Pentagon uh, authorized it. Well, they had to. He told them to. Um, That's it, correct. Not the not the way it works. But meanwhile, that is the way he's it building works. wall. Not, he's, he's, not, building he's wall not building and, a wall, and, Phil. Oh, he, calling it built. He's People looking think he's exactly. A wall. He's looking at a wall. What would you say, Bree? They think the impression is. That he's building the wall, and that was his wall. He went there because he's the master of impressions. You say Obama started that. Most people are not going to know that or think that. Right. They're going to go with the impression. The impression is he went there. There's a wall. Okay, move on. Maybe, next. maybe Bree walls work. Okay, that's why okay. he went. Okay, so let's go with more lies. Then uh, he said that Mexico was going to pay for the wall, and eventually they will. You know, uh, that, that, I, mean, the, I don't buy Mexico, eventually, Phil. So far, here. so far, so far he's lied. Here, so far he's lied. No, because the Mexicans that are here send billions of dollars yeah. back to Mexico, and he's going to tax those financial transactions well, that uh, when they send that uh, money yeah, back. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see him do that. All I'm saying is he lied about Mexico How paying for do the it, wall. Bill? Uh, a transaction tax. If you send something, How let's say gonna, Western that's Union. That's no, he that can't, still that wouldn't be Mexico be paying. Mexico. That would be us paying. Well, these guys are sending the money back there, so we're getting the chunk he, of and it. He and he said he said he wasn't when he was running for office. I think he said he wasn't going to touch Medicare. He did. He said it multiple times. Now, what has he touched in Medicare? He's trying to lower his the amount budget? Of his budget for Medicare. Well, he's trying to lower the budget for everything because he's trying to. Medicare. Wait a minute. He's trying to make. Okay. Uh, All right. Everything here in government is, here, work here, better. Here is the thing so he said. He less. said he was going to balance the budget and he was going to bring the national debt down. Instead, the national debt is now, I think, two trillion more than when he took over. Yep. Yeah. And uh, uh, okay, each, but, but isn't he isn't, isn't that, that a lot? Obama. No, he didn't. He, uh -huh. No, he did. No, he did not. He added. The, he added. He, hold on a second, Phil. He added two trillion dollars to the national debt. Okay, when he At said he was going to lower the national debt, and so far he lied about that. It's an investment in lowering the debt. Oh, it's Jesus. Some, you know, by by yeah. increasing well, the I'm economy. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out. I'm going to go out working. and spend a hundred thousand dollars to lower the amount of yeah, money I have. Hey, you got to yeah, advertise to get customers in. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Phil, uh, this is not a fucking rug store. Well, it's business. And, you know, maybe if... Well, a, then if he knew something about business, maybe I'd feel safer, but he doesn't. He's a man who's continually gone bankrupt. Hey, sometimes you got to fail in order to oh, know how Jesus to do it right. Oh, Jesus Christ, Phil. Yeah. You, but uh, here, you know, the there are more people working right now. The economy's better than it has been in years. And because of that, there's more tax being uh, Are collected. they working? What is the average wage, though, of those new jobs? It's a lot better than the no. shovel-ready jobs no, that we're going no. to get from Obama that never materialized. 
He Wait, uh, uh, what, what were you they built two bridges in Louisville, Kentucky, based on the shovel ready projects that Obama got through under the stimulus package. The uh, Obama shovel ready jobs never appeared. What the stimulus package? He just was, told you uh, of one in particular. Yeah, in a red state. So no. you know, do you think Obama well, was going to give it up to a red state? It was built between two red states, Phil. It was built Say between again? Indiana and Kentucky. It was the, the two bridges I'm talking about were built between Indiana and Kentucky, two yeah. red states, right. and that money came during Obama. It was well, not yeah, something Republican came about with. Look, that was shovel projects. Things and don't it was stop. Okay, I, I, I see. I, 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 it, it's hard for me to see when people's hands are up, but uh, 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 Joss Wheeler has his uh, his hand All up. Right. So he's yeah. well, just well, bridge. Uh, Phil, Wait, just hold on a second. Let Josh say what he's got mm -hmm. to say. Well, that's okay. I'm just going to say that I have the numbers for you from the Department of Commerce. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Department of Commerce, their economic analysis report from the U.S. Department of Commerce run by the federal government that uh, President Trump is the president of, so can't deny these numbers. Uh, GDP growth uh, just under 3% at about 2.9 in 2017. The first quarter of 2018 fell below 2%. The second quarter was 4.1%, but the third and the fourth were back down again, 3.4%. And then the fourth quarter of last year, all the way back down to 2.2%. Annual income as of February is only up 0.2%. And in January, the month before, it was down 0.1%. So you, two, you two think, years in, we haven't seen the 4%. Do you think uh, any of this could have been due to the tariffs? We remember all that bouncing up and down. Yeah, but uh, what, was it, what was the GDP under, uh, under Obama? It was one percent. Uh, twenty fifteen, the the last year he full year, uh, twenty fifteen was up at like three point seven something. I just read uh, something like, like no, that. That that was, you you said that that was Trump, Obama, I believe. No, was, I gave you the numbers just a second ago, and then I said I just read twenty fifteen was like three point seven. Yeah, and and uh, Obama was for a year, year or for a month. Jesus Christ, for a year or for the month? For the year. 3.7. Obama said Obama never achieved. Oh, apparently he did because the Department of yeah. Commerce said he did. Uh, well, I'm going to look it up. Oh Jesus, Phil! No. He looked it up. Josh looked it up. He's Josh has no no. no hey, he didn't to look up the 2015. Here. He looked up the uh, the ones under Trump. He just said 215. He said yeah, 215. I know, he, I know he said 215, but he okay, looked up the Trump. 2015. I'll try to open it back up. Just a second. I just, no, I yes. Just uh, just uh, 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 Bree has his hand up. Bree. The, one of the reasons why the economy can go up under Trump is because he totally, absolutely, 100% ignores negative externalities. So in the short term, he can have a great economy. But in the long term, it's going to hurt us a lot more. So what I mean by that is it used to be if you had a business and you had toxic waste, you couldn't go dump it in the local, I mean, you would go dump it in the local river, but eventually we figured out that that was actually hurting us more because the water was valuable and the fish Correct. were valuable, et cetera. So we passed all kinds of laws to restrict this and it, it made the companies have to spend more money. Now they can go right ahead and dump that toxic waste right into the river or the lake and kill all the fish again. They can do whatever they want. They can pollute the air. They can. Then, so in other words, he basically says the economy can go, 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 go. And in the short term, that's going to boost things. But in the long term, it's, you, it's just not sustainable, as we know, and it's going to be bad for us. But think of the things you could do if you ignored laws, if you ignored you know, if I could just dump my, my garbage over the rail uh, and get away with that, then my life would be much easier. My apartment would look very clean, but outside it would look very bad. And that's essentially the analogy. That's yeah, and later on somebody's got to come clean it up, and yeah, it's going to cost money but, to clean it up. That's All right. right. It's going to cost fact. us a lot more. Uh, uh, Phil isn't even listening to what you're saying. Yeah, he did. He's, what he's did he just say? That you could throw the you throw the garbage away, but eventually it's going to come back to haunt you. Hmm. But uh, to to Josh's point, Politifact 
uh, it says Obama administration first to never top 3% in annual GTB, GDP growth. And the claim is uh, Obama administration was the first administration that never had a whole year of 3%. And uh, it says mostly true. So uh, mostly. Obama's growth was, was far less than what Trump is just demonstrating. And what kind of economy time. was he li- working that in, Phil? But it doesn't matter. The, what, the no, what claim went, was what, 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 was, what was going on when he took office? Yeah, well, things things couldn't go anywhere but up when he took office. Well, yeah, I mean, but they're not the, going to the go Dow up like 5, boom. You know, the Dow was at five thousand. But when, when Trump took over, now. when Trump took over this country, uh, the, it was on an upward trajectory. Okay, so? and he is the beneficiary of that. And I will have to admit one thing to you, Phil. He is president of the United States, and it's on his watch. And at some point, and usually it's halfway through, you have to say, you have to give him credit for what goes on on his well, watch. Before he got elected, uh, the people on the left still, said that the economy still, was going to go in the shitter. Still, he's lying. And it didn't. He's lying because he said he would bring the national debt down, and instead he added $2 trillion to it. Through his mismanagement of our government, well, he's he's uh, he's cutting expenses in government. I don't when, give a and, shit, and, for, and, Phil. You said you said he always told the truth when he was he was he's kept, not cutting expenses. Well, you guys were all pissed off because uh, no, I, uh, I'm uh, Phil. Uh, you, you you said you said that you liked him because he kept his campaign promises. I just gave you one that he hasn't kept. And in fact, yet he, ha- he no no no. Yet. And what I I can I I'll hold my breath till that happens. We were already two trillion over. I don't know where he's going to make that better. Okay, we'll see. Especially he's, after he's giving cutting, the rich he's that huge expenses tax of government. As far as I'm concerned, much he's a corporate bullshitter. And he's, he's got a corporate. He's got fucking... fewer uh, asses in the seats in government. You know, they're saying, hey, you know, uh, all, all of these uh, ambassadors aren't getting appointed. Well, they're not getting appointed because he's not spending the money on that. You and, know, that is the smallest yeah, we amount don't need of money. ambassadors. And, and yeah. then that, there was that crap about the Special Olympics. So he overrode that one. But he told. That's the smallest his, amount of money we cabinets. spend, Phil. That's the smallest amount of money I, we spend. And nothing's ever good enough for you. No, oh, it's not, no, enough. it's not good he's, enough. He's cutting expenses he told because every cabinet position to cut the expenses by fifteen yeah. percent. You know something? It still doesn't make him not a piece of shit. Well, it doesn't matter. You would think he's a piece of shit even if he was the <laughs> next coming of Christ. You know something, he's, you, he's Phil? Phil, corporate. I'll tell you on the night election night what he's I said to Marjorie. Knows how to maneuver the yeah. numbers. What I said to Marjorie on election night was. You know, he might surprise us, and I hope so. He might yeah. surprise us and be really pretty good. Let's wait and see. Well, we've waited and Uh-oh. see. And well, I you haven't tell given you. him a chance. All you've wanted I'm to do is convince hey, him. Two hey, years it's, is not it, a chance? It's two, no, it's two almost, years you've been going after it's him. It's almost two and a half all years. all sorts of bullshit he that isn't true. Done some... I hear the theme. Bring it on. Yeah, yeah. That, well, thank God there's the thing. I'll, I'll leave my word. <laughs> yeah, I, I also thought that he could be great. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, oh, well. I think that he is great. Well, <laughs> so, well, because you're the moron. One you're, out of you're the moron in the house. Anyway, yes. <laughs> listen, we got to say goodbye. Uh, I, first of all, thanks to uh, Vernon, and thanks to Phil, and thanks to Charlie, and thanks to yes, Jeff, and thanks to fun. Kevin, and thanks to uh, uh, Patrick, and thanks to Bree, and thanks to Josh. Uh, and uh, see, I, I got everybody's name. I'm yeah, not yeah. losing it, folks. Everybody, give <laughs> give a big, a big wave goodbye, okay? There they go. I'm going to wave back at them, okay? And there we go. That's our citizen panel. Uh, I'm going to hang up on all of them. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of them, and I'm also going to take me offline and make myself invisible. So the next show, which is um, uh, the uh, intersection, uh, which is with uh, Jack Bishop, will be able to get in here and do their little program. Uh, I'll see you again, uh, let's see, tomorrow night at uh, 9, at 8.30. 
It's uh, sports with uh, the franchise MC in the arena. And then it's the exchange at 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time with, uh, 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 with uh, Damian Chaplin. And then I will see you again right back here tomorrow night, same time, same station, live 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. And in the meantime, if you see her, do me a favor, okay? Tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a good night.